Welcome to part one of our two-part video demonstration on how to upgrade ESXi hosts with vSphere Auto Deploy. In part one, we will show how to prepare for the upgrade by importing the ESXi 5.5 image profile and updating the deploy rules on the Auto Deploy server. In part two, we will show how to perform the host upgrades and how to update the host profile following the upgrade. We begin by logging on to the vSphere web client in order to review the upgrade environment. Go to Hosts and Clusters. We see the vCenter server, which is currently running version 5.5. Note that you need to upgrade vCenter server to version 5.5 before you can upgrade your hosts to ESXi 5.5. In the inventory, we see a single data center with one cluster comprised of two ESXi hosts and four virtual machines. When we click on the host ESX-01A, we see that our hosts are currently running ESXi version 5.0. We will use Auto Deploy to upgrade the hosts to ESXi 5.5. In preparation for the upgrade, we need to copy the ESXi 5.5 image profile onto the Auto Deploy server and update the Auto Deploy rules so the hosts will boot using the new image profile. To do this, we use Power CLI. In our Power CLI session, we begin by reviewing the active rule set on the Auto Deploy server by running the Get Deploy Rule Set commandlet. Here we see three rules. The first rule, Assign 5.0 Image Profile, assigns the 5.0 image profile to hosts that boot with an IP in the specified range and whose vendor is VMware Incorporated. The second rule, Assign 5.0 Host Profile, assigns the 5.0 host profile using the same set of matching criteria. The third rule, Assign vCenter Location, assigns the hosts into the vCenter cluster named Cluster01. We begin the upgrade by downloading a copy of the ESXi 5.5 offline depot. In this example, I have saved the depot to the eDrive. We then import the depot into our Power CLI session using the Add ESX Software Depot commandlet. After importing the offline depot, we need to query it for a list of available image profiles. To do this, we run the Get ESXi Image Profile commandlet. We see in the output that there are two image profiles, a standard image profile and the No Tools profile. We will use the ESXi 5.5-0-133-1820-No Tools image profile. Next, we use the New Deploy Rule commandlet to create a new deploy rule that will assign the ESXi 5.5 image profile to our ESXi hosts. Using the existing 5.0 image profile rule as an example, we name the new rule Assign 5.5 Image Profile. The item is the name of the image profile. And for the pattern, we specify an IP address in the range of 192.168.110.51 to 192.168.110.60 and vendor name of VMware Incorporated. Notice that when we create the new rule, the ESXi 5.5 image profile is uploaded to the Auto Deploy server. When the upload completes, we see the newly created rule. Next, we use the Get Deploy Rule commandlet to list all the rules defined on our Auto Deploy server. We now have two rules for assigning image profiles the old rule that assigns the 5.0 image profile, and the new rule that assigns the 5.5 image profile. We need to deactivate the old 5.0 rule and activate the new 5.5 rule. Start by running the Get Deploy Rule Set commandlet to list the active rule set. We remove the 5.0 image profile rule from the active rule set by running the Remove Deploy Rule commandlet. We then use the Add Deploy Rule commandlet to add the new 5.5 image profile rule to the active rule set. After updating the active rule set, we then need to update the host records that are saved on the Auto Deploy server. Begin by running the Get VM Host command to list all our hosts. For each host, we then run the Test Deploy Rule Set Compliance commandlet to compare it against the updated active rule set. Notice that host ESX01A is now showing non compliant. This is because the host record that is saved on the auto deploy server is configured to use the old 5.0 image profile and not the new 5.5 image profile. Note when you have a lot of hosts in your environment, you can use the Power CLI for each command 
to check all the hosts with a single command. Here we see that both our hosts are non-compliant. For the hosts to boot from the new 5.5 image profile, we need to update the host entries that are saved on the auto-deploy server. We do this using the Apply ESXi Image Profile commandlet. To verify the change, rerun the Test Deploy Rule Set Compliance command. The empty item list indicates that the hosts are now compliant with the active rule set. Another way to verify that our hosts match the active rule set is with the Get VM Host Matching Rules commandlet. Here we see that host ESX-01A-corp.local matches all three of the active rules. Now we are ready to upgrade our hosts. Continue with Part 2, which shows how to perform the upgrade and how to update the host profile following the upgrade.